we really wanted to do some traveling this summer, but the Shasta still isn't done. So rather than stay at home and finish that project, I just went ahead and built my own custom low budget camper. This is a shell that I purchased locally. It's used, it was $80, and although the paint isn't the greatest, I like it because it's tall, so it gives us a little bit of headroom. On the inside here, Jennifer whipped out these nice curtains. They're just pieces of felt with Velcro sewn on, so that gives us a little bit of privacy. And we have right here the most important appliance. Combine that with a piece of foam that I cut to fit between the wheel wells and a sleeping bag thrown on top and we have a mobile domicile that is much cheaper than any hotel room. We're on location here at the Rye Patch State Recreation Area in Nevada. This camping site, site number 20? Yes. 20? Yeah, site number 20. It was $14 a night and only 25 cents for a claimed hot shower. It didn't matter if it was hot or not though because last night at 8 o'clock in the evening, ambient temperature was still about 100 degrees, so a cool shower it was very refreshing. We just spent our first night in the new camper, and I can testify that although a 50-inch width mattress is a little bit cramped for two grown-ups and a four-year-old, it's definitely livable, especially when you consider how maneuverable and fuel efficient this RV is compared to a standard motorhome or truck and trailer. That's not to say I won't finish up the Shasta, but I'm just trying to look at the positives after being kicked in the head by a four-year-old all night. Jennifer and I put this whole thing together in a matter of days, so the electrical system is very minimal. Luckily, I had a trailer wiring plug because at one time there was a trailer hitch in the back of the truck here and I have that wired up to a single overhead lamp, which worked fine last night, but if we continue using this camper in the future, I'll probably add some more lights and maybe a couple of power receptacles. So that's the grand tour of the living quarters. Let's step up to the cab. We've got a couple goodies here that I thought would aid in our travels. I want to use the laptop when we're on the road, so I bought this Verizon hotspot at Walmart. This is a prepaid device where you can just buy data as you need it. For $35, I got two gigabytes, which is pretty expensive, but that's good for 60 days. So if I don't use it all up in the first month, it'll roll over, and if I need more, I can always buy it later on. The good thing about this device, I bought it at Walmart, list price at Walmart for this was $47. I checked Walmart's own website, walmart.com. It was on sale for $11. How much was it? It's like $11.50. $11.50, $11.96 maybe. So $12 for this Verizon Jetpack Ellipsis hotspot. 4G, so it's actually better internet than I get at my house when you have service down here. In the riverbed, I don't have service, but almost the whole distance so far, we've had good reception. To keep the laptop charged, I also bought this power inverter. This is a 410 watt inverter, so it's enough to drive the laptop, the phone charger, the camera charger, but it probably wouldn't do well with an electric heater or something of that nature. You're not gonna run any big halogen shop lights off of the Schumacher 410 power inverter. So that's the Jenny's Garage custom budget camper special. We're gonna do a little exploring here at the Rye Patch State Recreation Area and then keep rambling on down the road. Thanks for watching.